The immigrant story is the American story. It is the story that new Americans bring richness and value to American life. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Mitchell. I'm the CEO of Luminous. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet two people who are making a transformational difference. One who came many years ago and one who came more recently. And we're gonna learn about the fashion industry. We are again being hosted by the Baltimore Museum of Industry in their garment shop. And you may not know much about the history of the garment industry in the region. You may know about more recent garment industries such as Under Armour that are based here in Baltimore and Central Maryland. So let's begin. Sally, it's Hello. good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me a little bit about your journey coming to the U.S. Um, my journey started in, I guess it was 1958. Um, we lived in a beautiful little town, city called Chifalu in Sicily. And my mom and her sisters had a fashion design school, which was well known in the, in the region. Although we were financially sound in Chifalu, the educational opportunities were not going to be there. So she kept applying, applying. It took about 10 years. And finally, we made it. We got sponsored by the Haas Tailoring Company, and we settled here in Baltimore. Wow. So you have a fashion background. You know fashion. Oh, I do. <laughs> tell, tell me what inspired that, and what. Um, tell me about your fashion journey. Well, my fashion journey really started with my mom's two sisters. They would bring all these coats home, and I would sit there and help them sew the coats and all that. And you know, one day my Aunt Rose just said to me, you know, you'd make a good fashion designer. Um, so it was really the inspiration of my, my aunts and I, I learned a lot of um, high fashion sewing techniques. I was going to an all-girls Catholic school that was rich in academics, but no art. So I applied to Mike at Maryland Institute College of Art at the time. I got in, I don't know how I got in, it's one of the top art schools in the nation. At that time it was like number one. And I did extremely well, I graduated at the top of the class. Eventually I merged, I went to work in the garment industry, I went to work at Glenbrook Co. Company. But I, back in my mind was always, I want to teach, I want to teach, I just got to teach. There was only one school in Maryland that had a fast, started a fashion design program, and that was Baltimore City Community College. I got hired there, spent 32 years there, um, administering a really wonderful program where I never felt I went to work. It was just so much fun. So that's a little bit about my story. <laughs> that is a, that's a, be that's a beautiful story. Yeah, and, that's a good and, one. And I mean, you have so much rich background in the fashion industry. And you were not just stopping there. I mean, you're continuing to contribute to the fashion industry. So let's take a couple minutes and let you introduce us to our next guest. Hello everyone, I'm Sally DeMarco. I'm back again and I want to introduce you to one of my colleagues in, in the fashion industry, um, Stacy Stu. Hello Stacy, how are you doing? Hi, Sally, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Stacy and I have been working together now since I don't 2016. Know, when, yeah, it's been a couple of years. But anyway, I want to ask you a little bit about your fashion journey. Having been born in Indonesia but growing up in Baltimore in the United States, I had very little connection to my heritage because my parents stopped speaking to us in Indonesian. Um, kids would make fun of you in school for being different. So um, it was only through my fashion journey that I discovered a freedom to be a designer that sort of embraced cultural heritage. So I visited the villages, particularly the Balinese embroidery. And this idea of community, community making, I started to learn about the manufacturing side. And it was this blurred line between what a factory was like and what an artisan community was like. And there was more sitting, there was more chatting, there was more conversation, and there was more connection. Um, so after three years in Bali, Indonesia, I returned to Baltimore, mainly because I was a picture in a frame to my family. I've been away for 10 years. And it was the Indonesian people that showed me that family matters. You know, you can be on this crash course towards success, but if you're not surrounded by love and love in the work, that love of the work is not enough. So then when I came back, I found out that, my goodness, I traveled around the world and Baltimore had an industry. And then I started uncovering what that industry was. First, I saw it as something magical and beautiful. Like I would look at these images and think like, wow, this is wonderful. But the more I started to dig into the reality, it is not beautiful and it is a painful industry. I think it was at that point as people I was working with were dying, not because of anything outside of just old age and time, our city doesn't have time, our industry doesn't have time 
and the things that I loved about the industry that I saw in Bali, um, this freedom of creativity, this ability to develop garments, the people that know how to do it won't be here. So we created this school outside of the factory, but I didn't want to do it in a way that was at the speed and the disconnect of the people. So what I learned in Indonesia was, you know, we sit together, we talk with each other, and we connect. So I think that there's such a richness that I have once I started to embrace where I come from and bring a little bit of that back to the U.S. Um, through fashion. Well, well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being uh, here today with me and discussing a little bit about the wonderful world of fashion and our journey together. And we'll still be journeying on, hopefully, as time goes on. Everyone, thank you for joining today's story and today's video. If you want to get more involved, you can give to the Luminous Fund for New Americans, or you can volunteer with us, both on the website. No matter what you do, just remember this, Luminous is from you to us, and that's what we are about at Luminous, and you can be about as well if you engage with us. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, be well.